time and I'm back with another front row talk podcast the podcast with expensive opinions uh, before I start make sure you subscribe you like you comment you share this video check the description down below where has my links for my tiktok and instagram um, this is episode 59 and as you can see by the title I'm gonna be talking about the Drake concert uh, I'm gonna get my thoughts on it all right to get straight into it um I'm, I'm actually excited to talk about this topic because um, it's something that I actually really enjoyed more than I thought I was going to. Uh, for those who don't know, this is actually my first concert ever, you know, and I feel like it was a great first concert to go to because um, it's Drake and 21 Savage. To get into specific, to get into details, I don't even know where to start. Um, by the way, before I start, actually, I'm going to have a vlog that may be dropping tomorrow the same day that this podcast drops or saturday either or so the 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 vlog is gonna have more you know it's gonna actually show me in a concert show a bunch of clips um during a concert and yeah but um let's start off with uh with uh i mean once i got there i mean it was super duper packed uh it was in barclay center in brooklyn for those who don't know um and the line was quick Everything was quick. I feel like it was flowing good. We, we wasn't really waiting for too long. Um, I had one with my friend, me and him. And then once we got inside, I feel like the merch line was also pretty quick. So definitely it was like, you know, they was making sure they, they, they was making sure it was there was quick with it. And I was around like eight, eight. So yeah, like I probably like eight on a dot, eight something. Not it wasn't um, wasn't no later than that. And then um, cop the merch. Um, like I said, if you want to see what I copped and everything, go look at the, um, at the vlog. I'm going to have the, the channel description in the description down below. But then I, we had got some food. The vibes is good. Everybody was, everybody who was there was, um, good vibes. Um, uh, and then we just went and got some food. Like I said, we got out and we went to our section and then we waited. Um, then the waiting wasn't too long, probably because we wasn't there for like hours hours before but i mean uh if i'm not mistaken it was some skilly bang that was playing um and then uh the dj started playing music uh zach b if i'm not mistaken and he just kept playing you know a bunch of hits a bunch of good songs he played some ice spice he played some um sexy red he played some bad bunny you know just to get the vibes up everybody was amazing like as in like the vibes like you know because i feel like sometimes you go to concerts and there's always somebody who's too drunk and trying to act up i didn't see none of that i mean at least around where i was um and for what i from what i've been seeing on tiktok everybody's saying you know it's good vibes everybody goes for the right intentions you know just to have fun and dance now um yeah it was about like 30 something minutes of, of like you know music playing and then um it's funny too because i was about to go use the bathroom and when i was gonna go use the bathroom my friend told me nah like you're bugging don't go use the bathroom so literally three minutes after that drake came out the lights went out everybody took out their phones with flash i'll put a little clip of it um but i recommend you to go watch the full vlog um but yeah uh he came out everybody was hype everybody was screaming everybody was you know ready for for a good concert um he came out through section 109 or 110 if i'm not mistaken he came down the stairs well got up on us got, got up on a stage um and he was just talking you know talking about how much love he got for new york and stuff like that and you know he just got straight to it where look what you've done that marvis room can i um hell yeah fucking right if i'm not mistaken it was a bunch of throwback songs like and then once the throwback songs got out the way it, it got lit like um i had seen a clip of academic saying that the concert felt like a party not more like a, like you know it felt like you was actually in a party and everybody was and that's what it actually feels like like i like the fact that he made he he goes to the dj booth and he also like DJs a bit 
that's everybody turn you know because everybody's vibe is up the whole time i mean it's not just singing or you know it's people dancing i mean i was dancing myself everybody in our section was dancing you know and i feel like everybody just had a great time he kept the vibes up he kept the energy up at all times um and then surprisingly when he walked over to the dj booth stephen curry was there so that was a a plus i mean especially that that's my favorite basketball player so it was just it was kind of like a lot to take in at the moment because i'm like yo i'm literally like witnessing you know the two goats i mean for me and mine so he was there he was there with his wife his mother um and yeah after that the dj dj in part was good he played some songs from honestly never mind um and like he mixed it up a bit, techno beats and all of that, which actually was very, very good, better than I thought. I thought that it wasn't gonna, I thought it was gonna be cringy or corny, but it was good enough to get everybody hyped. Then he got back on the stage, if I'm not mistaken, he sang like a song or two, and then 21 Savage came in. Now, believe it or not, I thought that 21 Savage was gonna be all right, or like, oh, but actually, he made it even better, cause he's, he, he, He's more of a drill artist than Drake, so he he sang Bank Account. He sang a bunch of like throwbacks of hits. Um, he sang some features, the one with him and Post Malone, him and Pooh Shiesty, if I'm not mistaken. Um, he got everybody hyped, like, and his part was quick because he only played like seven, eight of his songs, and then that's when him and Drake came back out. They performed Knife Talk. They performed um, Spin About You, uh, Jimmy Cooks, uh, what other song? Uh, the first song of um, of Her Loss, Why well, uh, it's not coming to mind at the moment. But yeah, they performed about five, six songs. And throughout the whole time, you know, everybody was singing. Um, I feel like the vlog would explain it better than I am. I hope it does. But um, everybody was singing. The food, I mean, it's regular stadium food. Um, some chicken tenders, fries, a drink, you know. Um, the merch. Now I, I know I didn't go into specific with the merch. Uh, if you want to go see specifically what I bought, go go look at the vlog. Uh, the description down below. But um, the merch was fine. I mean, I got two shirts. There was both forty-five. Um, I, I I can't complain. I mean, there was hats and all of that. There was the book. There was some like some magnets. But I didn't really pay attention to none of that. Um, and yeah, now back to him and uh, him and Twenty One. Him and Twenty One did good. There was turned then um, the ending of the show started to come nearby, and he started. He kept asking people, "What time is it? What time is it?" Like after every song, and people was just like, "No, like you know, keep going." That's how you know that the concert was good because people didn't want it to end. I mean, clearly. Um, and then he just kept saying, you know what, I'm going to give y'all one more song, one more song. He performed, uh, damn, it's not coming to mind. He performed a couple, like, two, three more songs. Then he, he had, like, three, four songs. And then he had went, he had asked for the time again. And then that's when he had walked over to the Virgil um, side of the arena. And he performed Legend. Now, before I go to the end any seat that you get listen any seat that you get you're hearing this from somebody who was actually there in person in the flesh any seat that you get is perfect i feel like the stage setup is amazing i feel like you got a good angle uh because he's literally in the center um yeah and honestly there's people who sneaked into other spots from what i've been seeing on tiktok i don't know nobody personally in my um the day i went that sneak but i'm pretty sure people still did that um but yeah any seat that you get is good um everybody had good fits everybody wanted to have fun um it was some cool people right behind me um right in front of me and it looked like it was just the same vibe throughout the whole um throughout the whole arena i mean shout out to the barclays workers too they don't really get that much props but Shout out to them because they kept everything organized, especially in the entrance. I feel like it could have been worse. You know, we could, I could have been on that line longer, but thank God that's not how it went. But yeah, I mean, 10 out of 10. I mean, I, it, it was so good. I wanted to go another day, 
But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to drag it. Like, I'm going to just let it be. Um, but, yeah, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I mean, that's all I can keep saying. I'm still going through videos on my phone um, of the night. Still seeing a bunch of TikToks. Still seeing a bunch of Instagram posts. Shout out to Steph Curry. He was there that night. Um, it just made the night even better for me personally. You know, I'm, I'm a big Curry fan. And yeah, uh, the set list is out there. I already talked on, about the set list about like two, three episodes ago. Um, I feel like I can't really explain anymore. Just go in, listen, go in person. Definitely go in person. Um, I didn't go to the last tour he did with the Migos, but from what it's looking like, this one is surpassing it just because... I'm not saying people said that the Migo tour was bad, but I haven't heard no bad reviews from this one. And today, Thursday, I think he has a show in Madison. If I'm not mistaken, he probably has one tomorrow too. I think he has like three more dates here in New York. Been here for like, he's going to be here for like about a week. But um, yeah, definitely. There was people who copped in person the same day too. Um, yeah, just... Go, go, go for sure. Definitely go. I'm going to make sure that vlog is up. I got to make sure that vlog goes up. Goes up. If it's not out tomorrow, Friday, it'll be out Saturday. And hopefully it's out Saturday. But if not Saturday, I'm going to make sure I drop it Sunday. I definitely got to drop it. I feel like the vlog is going to speak more. I mean, you're going to actually see how it was. Um, but yeah, I almost lost my voice. And crazy thing is the next day I had work, but I thugged it out, went to work. Um, and yeah, just did what I had to do. But outfit was good. Definitely took pictures. If you want to see the pictures, go look at my Instagram down in the description. Um, and yeah, that's really all I could say. Uh, 10 out of 10. It doesn't feel like a concert. It feels like a party. Uh, vibes all around. Great people. Beautiful woman. I mean, like, top tier. Like, go to, go to the concert um, before it's too late. Oh, and another thing. Right before I leave. It's looking like he's hinting for the album drop. People are saying that it might drop tomorrow by the time this podcast is out. I don't think it's going to drop tomorrow. But on Apple Music, it's like uh, the front page is like um, talking about uh, something, something you missed the old Drake. And it's showing So Far Gone, if I'm not mistaken, and Take Care, like the two old albums. So it's kind of hinting like the vibes of the new album. Um, or oh, another thing we might get. So uh, I think it's tonight We might get the On The Radar With him and Central C That was unexpected But I'm definitely looking forward to A freestyle uh, Hopefully it's fire But yeah That's all I could really say Tune into the vlog I feel like that'll explain it better um, And yeah Make sure you subscribe You like, you comment Share this video uh, Check the description down below It'll have all the links that you need For the vlog specifically I'm emphasizing on the vlog so you can definitely see what I'm talking about. It explains it way better. Um, and yeah, after the concert, everything was smooth too. Like it wasn't hectic to leave. Everybody got out. Everybody was safe. You know, took transportation, whatever form of transportation. It was quick. It wasn't too hectic. Um, and yeah, people were still playing music outside with the speakers dancing. Like it was definitely 10 out of 10 vibe. But that's it for this episode. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, you share this video. Tune into the vlog and your boy Sarsita is out.